hi viewers welcome back once again to my youtube channel my name is Osetale. if you are seeing me for the very first time you are highly welcome this is a fashion channel where i share pattern drafting and tutorial videos on how to cut and sew please do well to hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so when i post my next video you will be notified so on today's tutorial video i'll be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful off shoulder wrap top if this is something you're interested in please do well to keep on watching subscribe to the channel and let's get started Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side so guys this is the fabric i'll be using to share with you how i made the wrap top it is an african print fabric and i have two years of it no matter how small you are you will be needing nothing less than two years to be able to make the wrap top you're also going to be needing your elastic band for the sleeve these are the measurements you're going to be needing to be able to make this top I added extra 2 inches to my round tight bust measurement and I have 38. I also added extra 5 inches to my round tight waist measurement and I have 34. That is going to be for the ease, okay? Do well to add all those allowances. Now, to make this top, I'm going to open up my fabric on the table, then I will fold it together just like this. I'm going to be cutting the back piece first, okay? so to do that go ahead and rule a line here which is going to serve as the starting line you can see i left like up to one inch before i started ruling my line do all to leave inches like that because that's going to be for the sewing allowance okay now i'm going to take away the off shoulder i will take away five inches which is going to be for the off shoulder then i'll place five inches on that starting line that i just ruled okay then place it on it like that you're going to go ahead to take the length of the top the length is 20 inches then i'll add extra one inch for the hem then go ahead and connect it rule a straight line just like this so guys after doing that now the next thing you want to do is to come to this um, line here you are going to mark five inches which is going to be for the neck width so the neck width of the back is 10 inches divided by two i have five so i marked it and i added extra one inch for the sewing allowance then on that line i will just come down by three inches which is going to be for the armhole depth then go ahead and rule a line just like that now on this line i will take my round bust measurement divided by four on this line so go ahead and mark it then add extra one inch or one and a half for the sewing allowance now i'm going to use my french curve to connect this dot and this dot to create my armhole so this is what you are going to have after you are done doing that now guys the next thing you want to do is to take the round waist measurement so i'll take my round waist measurement divided by four which is 34 divided by four then i'll add one inch for the sewing allowance then go ahead and connect it just like this so guys after doing that now you are going to go ahead and go up on this starting line by one inch this is going to be for the folding of the back okay for the hem part of the top of the back then after doing that go ahead and cut it out just like this then after cutting you will fold it in the allowance that i just added you're going to fold it in just like that before you go ahead to cut everything out so guys this is it this is what you're going to have after you are done cutting this is the back piece okay now i'll be placing this back piece on another fabric to trace out the front i went ahead to fold my fabric together again that i'll be using to cut out the front piece you can see that the fabric i folded together here is way bigger than what i folded for the back okay because this is what i'll be using to cut the front and you know the front has wrap so i just went ahead to flip my back piece on it like the opposite side did you see what i did i flipped it on it just like that now i'm going to go ahead to trace out the armhole and the sides okay so just watch carefully what i'm doing so that you will understand because this fabric you can barely say that the back piece is even on top of um the front piece okay guys i didn't remember to measure and show you guys what i added that i'm going to be using for the wrap so the extra inches that i added is eight inches this is what i'm going to be using for the wrap so if you're a bigger person you may need to add up to 10 or 12 inches depending on your size now i'm going to go ahead to create the wrap so on this end here 
i'm just going to mark half inch away just like that then on the hem part here um you know we added one inch for the folding then i'm going to go up by three inches that's extra two inches added to the one inch that we added before for the folding then i'm going to go ahead and connect these two dots this dot on top here and the one at the hem part here then i'm just going to use my uh, hip curve to connect it to give me the wrap so just watch very carefully what i'm doing you are going to understand so guys after doing that go ahead and cut it out so this is it this is for the front piece and the back piece you can see how it is looking like this is how you are going to have it looking like okay now i'm going to place the front and the back pieces aside now then we go ahead to cut out the sleeve this is the fabric i'll be using to cut the sleeve i've already cut it out and i have two of it for the two sleeves okay it is on fold as you can see now the first thing i will do is i'm just going to come down here by about one inch which is going to be for the folding of the elastic band that will be on top so go ahead and roll it out just like that then after you are done doing that fold it in like this okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to just iron it out to be flat then i will come here then i'm going to go out here by seven inches you know there's going to be elastic band on top of this um um sleeve so i just went out by seven inches and i made a mark there by the time i put the elastic band it's going to make it firm now I'll bring the back piece i will also fold out the folding that i have on top there then i'm going to place it on it to trace out the armhole don't place it to be straight like this okay make sure you place it in a slanted form so that the armhole will be able to fit to your sleeve okay then go ahead and trace it out just like that after you are done doing that just use your chalk to make the lines visible then you're going to have it looking like that now the next thing i want to do is to take the round arm measurement so the round arm measurement is um 16 inches divided by two i have eight so i came down by seven inches and i took my measurement now we take the length of the sleeve the length i'm making use of is 23 inches then this extra one inch that i have here is going to be for the folding of the elastic band that is going to be um, uh, at the wrist part of the sleeve okay now for the width of the wrist i went out by nine inches then i added the sewing allowance now i'm going to go ahead and connect this just use your uh, hip curve to connect just the way you see me doing connect all the dots that you have marked okay after you're done doing that you're going to go ahead and cut this out This is what you are going to have after cutting this is the sleeve now i'm going to place the sleeve aside now then i will bring this piece of fabric that i've cut out that i'm going to be using for the rope the rope that we are going to be using to wrap it so by the time i'm sewing i'm going to sew it together just like this so how long it is i have it to be about 40 inches long okay i have it to be 39 inches long guys and i have it to be four inches wide so this is what i'm going to be using for the rope for the wrap okay now it's time to sew guys i'm going to bring the front and the back pieces i'm going to take the back piece to the same machine then i'm going to go ahead to hem the top part just like this then go ahead and hem it just like that after doing that you're also going to hem the wrap side of the front pieces so just go ahead and hem this part this um, wrap side that we have go ahead and hem it like that then you're also going to do the same thing to the other piece this is what i had after i was done doing as i demonstrated you can see i've hemmed this top part and i also did the same thing to the front pieces so i have hemmed the wrap side of the front pieces just the way i demonstrated okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to place them aside now then i will bring the sleeves okay so um the first thing i'm going to be doing for the sleeve is i will take it to the sewing machine this top here i'm just going to go ahead and hem it in a way that it is actually big enough for my elastic band to go through it then i will do the same thing to the bottom i'm also going to go ahead and hem the down part of the sleeve okay then i'll do the same thing to the other sleeve 
this is what i had after i was done doing that guys you can see i've hemmed both the top and the uh, down part of my sleeve now the next thing i'm going to do is to bring my elastic band i'm going to go ahead and put my elastic band through this uh, part that i just hemmed i cut out the elastic band i'm going to put at the wrist using 10 inches so you can decide to cut yours with 8 inches 12 inches it totally depends on your size now i'm going to go ahead and use my safety pin to put the elastic band through this um part that i just hemmed guys when you get to the end here you are just going to go ahead and pin it down so go ahead and pin it down then you are going to continue to you know do this all the way to the other end so this is it guys this is what you are going to have after doing now remove your safety pin and pin it down as well so this is it now i'm going to do the same thing to the other part i went ahead to do it off camera okay so go ahead and pin it down as well now I'll take this to the same machine and i'm going to stitch on these ends okay so that's what i'm going to do for the elastic band that i'm going to be putting on top i'm going to be cutting it out using nine inches this is because i want it to be firm okay i want it to be firm on top there you know we took away um, five inches for the off shoulder so times two i have 10 inches but i cut out my elastic band using nine inches because i want it to be able to be tight on top there so this is totally depending on your size if you're a bigger person you may need to cut your own out with more than nine inches or if you're a smaller person you may need to cut your own out with like seven or eight inches so as you can see i'm putting my elastic band through the uh, place just like that then go ahead and pin the two sides just the same way we did for the hem part then you're going to do the same thing to the other one now take them all to the sewing machine and stitch this is what i had after i was done stitching guys now the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and attach the sleeve to the body so to do that i'm just going to place the armhole area of the sleeve with the armhole area of the back piece then i'll take it to the sewing machine then i will sew it together then i will take the other sleeve and sew it to the other side just like this so go ahead and sew it then you're also going to do the same thing to the front pieces take the armhole area of the front piece and sew it to the armhole area of the sleeve just like that then you do the same thing to the other one this is what i had guys after i was done um attaching the sleeve to the back piece and i also did the same thing to the front piece just as i demonstrated okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to flip this to the wrong side just like this then i will take it back to my sewing machine i'm going to go ahead and join the sides so just start joining from the sleeve then you join it all the way to the end just like this after you are done doing that you are going to do the same thing to the other side this is what you are going to have after you are done joining the sides together just as i demonstrated you can see now the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and hem the down part so just take it to the sewing machine you're going to hem it just like this so fold it together and hem it all the way to the other end so guys this is what you're going to have after you are done hemming so i'm just arranging it now for you guys to see how nice it is coming out so this is what i have for now i have hemmed the down part now the last thing i'm going to do now is to bring the rope that i cut out earlier that i'm going to be using for the wrap then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine then i'm just going to sew it all the way to the end so just sew it together using like half inch then you're going to do the same thing to the other one then after you're done doing that you will stitch this part just like that this is what i had after i was done sewing it guys as you can see now i'm going to use my scissors to just um turn it to the right side so go ahead and do that make sure to point out all the sharp edge okay so this is it now do the same thing to the other one now that i'm done doing that i'm just going to iron it out
so guys this is it this is what i have after i was done ironing now i'm going to attach it to the um end part here so you're just going to place it together on the right side you sew it then you will now go ahead and double stitch it okay then you are going to also do the same thing to the other one place it together sew it and double stitch it this is what i had after i was done attaching the rope guys you can see so this is how it came out you can see the double stitching that i did so this is the other side finally guys we've come to the end of this tutorial video this is how to go about making this beautiful off shoulder wrap top with balloon sleeve let me know what you think about this video in the comment section please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to see it and watch it as well you can also share this video to your friends and people you think it might be of help to thank you so much for watching i will see you all in my next one